We're going to do a gatefold obituary this time, large size. Should have Canva open. And then from Canva, you're going to go into create a design. And then you're going to make sure your units is in inches. And for the width, 17. And for the height, we're going to do 11. So 17 by 11 inches. Then hit create new design. Keep in mind that you can download this template off my Etsy page if you'd rather just use the template and fill in your own photos and text. Just go right down here to the link below. Next, we need a background. So I like to use Pexels. Let's check Pexels and we're gonna type in white floral. That's pretty good right there. Let's use that. And we're just gonna click, drag and drop it in there. And then let's rotate it. 90 degrees and let's make sure that it takes up the entire background all right actually they look upside down so let's flip it one more time there we go next we're going to click on our photo we're going to click position and we're going to click layers and then we're going to click the background and when you click the background you'll see this color wheel pop up so click the color wheel and then we're going to choose a color that we want for our obituary I want to go with something bright and colorful maybe we'll use this magenta color and we can't see it yet but we want to pull down the transparency so we're going to pull that down a bit until it's just barely visible now let's go ahead and lock that so that we don't we don't disturb it anymore now we want to create our guides you should have rulers on both sides of your screen if you don't go to file go to settings and click show rulers and guides and then your guides will pop up let's separate this properly we're going to need a couple down the middle so we want one that goes directly in the middle when you click and drag over it'll snap right into the middle and on the turn pink as it did. So we're doing that 4.25, as close as we can get it. And then to get a midpoint in between here, we're gonna have to go to 12.75. And these points right here is to show us where our gate fold will come in and fold on top of each other. So this far right one is the front cover and this other far left one is also the front cover. And then this right here is the back cover. So the next thing we want to do is go to our elements and we want to grab a frame. So we're going to scroll down to where it says frames, click see all. And I want to roll with the circle frame. For now, we're just going to put this right here and shrink it. Next, you're gonna to want to click, drag and drop your photo right into here. Adjust it as you need. I would say that this is maybe too round for this picture. So I'm gonna open it up a little bit and that looks cool. Now this part right here is a little tricky because we need the gate to close and it needs to match up on both sides. So what we're gonna do is bring this to its halfway mark and then we're going to select this to duplicate it and drag it over here to its halfway mark. And make sure when we select these that they are aligned to the middle. So that way when it closes, we'll get her entire face. Now, next thing we wanna do is add a title. So let's go to the text, let's go to the heading, and let's do remembering the life of, and we're gonna shrink this down, maybe like size 24, maybe a little bigger than that. And that's not gonna work, so we have to do part of it on front 
let's change this font right here to something a little a little fancier something like that might do it let's duplicate that and pull it over here to this side the other side of the cover remembering the life of now we can do the text for her name This could be blown up some. Let's duplicate that. And we're gonna pull the other one down here. Now let's use some different colors. Let's go ahead and go to the elements again. And let's drag and drop into this frame. And we'll make it a little smaller maybe a little wider. And then we're just going to duplicate that frame, move one down a tad bit. Now, when we hit the duplicate this time, it should space it out exactly as this one is. And then we can hit it again and one more time. All right, now we got our design, our pictures on the back side looking real nice. Let's give them a border. We're gonna go ahead and go to the border style. We're gonna click border weight and a four pixel border will pop up. Let's change the color of that border by clicking up here where it says border color. And let's make it maybe this dark purple. Add a text box. And we're gonna put Matthew 11, 28, 30. You can use whatever scripture that you might like, whatever scripture that they might like if you're making it for somebody else. Let's duplicate this header. So now we're gonna go back into our text. Here, let's make this that nice purple color that we decided on. And now let's add another text box. And this time it's gonna have our scripture and do a body of text and we'll just put Paul bearer name as a placeholder the acknowledgments so I'll duplicate Paul bearer and it's usually just a thank you here so I will add that there and then the funeral home name will be bold and then underneath that will be the funeral address now we need uh, the date of birth and the day that she passed away so we'll be duplicating this here and this dark purple color and then we'll duplicate that and move it over to here this, is, this should actually say sunrise and then this one could say sunset Oh, one other thing we'd like to do on a, on a cover. It's good to have the pastor that's going to be officiating and the address of the church. So we'll do church name address on one side and then we'll duplicate this. And on this side, we'll do pastor's name and now we all set now let's move on to the next side there's only one more page and instead of redoing all this background let's go ahead and just hit duplicate page and then we're going to remove everything we don't want right so let's go ahead and we'll copy this and paste it over here and we'll do Julie's life, and then we'll put the obituary underneath there. Let's make this a lot smaller so we got more room for type. All right, now we can go ahead and add the obituary in the middle. So we're gonna go text, add a text box, and then I'm just gonna put some placeholder text here. All right, this could be a little bigger. 
let's make this color right here yellow right and then let's since we do have a shorter biography here or a shorter obituary we can add more photos so we'll put photos down here and i'll duplicate this highlight these duplicate and then highlight all of them and shrink it down just a bit And underneath that, we can put memories. And then I'll change these photos right now so that things are a little less repetitive. Now we're gonna change the shape of this frame. Let's go ahead and detach this image. Let's go and delete that. Maybe use a picture frame, drop it in there, and move that to here. Okay, now let's add over here. Let's duplicate this text one more time. Duplicating text is just faster than re-adding the text and doing a font and stuff every time, so we duplicate. Now we're gonna put order of service. Duplicate this, and then over here, we'll put attributes. For the order of service, usually it's stuff like uh, scriptures, the processional, the prayer, selection, uh, words of comfort, stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and I already have it pasted in a different document here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that, put it right here. And maybe enlarge it. We'll highlight all my yellow text, go to effects, and then go to neon. It's gonna give us a nice glow. And then here, instead of white, let's do black or dark purple for the titles. We'll go back into our elements, and then we'll go here, make this a tad bit smaller. Maybe put it center right here. And then we'll have text underneath that says like from the tribute or from the person that's given the tribute. So we'll duplicate that and move this down about right here. We'll do three tributes and duplicate this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and just type these out real quick. And this is kind of throwing me off compared to how the rest of the pictures are. So I'm gonna go ahead and detach this and I'm gonna use a different frame for that. We're gonna use a rounded edge frame and just drag that into there, pull it right there. And then give it the same style as the other pictures. Looking good. Only thing that's kind of bothering me now is this looks a little too big. So let's shrink this down and make room for a nice short prayer here. We got our order of service here. And everything looks very, very good. Something you want to be careful about when you're making this obituary or when you're making any design is keeping text from being too close to the edge. So you want to make sure that the text isn't going to get like it, the text shouldn't be this close. Otherwise it'll get cut off. So you want to make sure that it's a decent amount away from the edge so that when it goes to get trimmed, nothing gets cut off. All right. I appreciate you guys watching. If you made it to the end of this tutorial, I hope that it was helpful to you. I hope that you learned something and I appreciate you watching and hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.